take x cube is common like 1 by 3 to 1. When I take x cube is common, x cube times of 1 by x square minus 1 whole to the power of whole to the power of 1 by 3 by x power of 4 dx. Roughly I am explaining here 1 by 3 to 1. When I take outside here, this can be written as x 1 by x square minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3 because this 3 3 get cancelled by x to the power of 4. When x, when x get cancelled, finally here we are going to get integral 1 by 3 to 1, 1 by x square minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3 into 1 by x cube dx. Now here let us consider you can take here let 1 by x square minus 1 you can take as t. That's all. Next onwards you can do it. Next step onwards. First I am taking x cube is common in numerator. So then after I simplify we got this is equation 1 in equation 1. Take uh, 1 by x square minus 1 as t. Okay. Fine. Uh, that, that and all you can do. Next coming to question number 10. We can apply the Leibniz rule. I told you many times this Leibniz rule is very important. So because the Leibniz rule is applicable for See so here, integrand they are given in terms of t. Look at here, t sin t dt. Integrand in terms of t, but whereas the limits are different variables, like 0 to x. This is a problem. They ask you what is f dash of x. Understood? One more time. So, whenever the integrand in one variable, limits are in other variable, so you should apply Leibniz zero. Leibniz zero. So, can anyone tell that what is uh, the Leibniz zero? So, very simple squints. Substitute upper limit in place of t and minus substitute lower limit in place of t. That's all. Upper limit minus lower limit, then that is, is given by Leibniz. That is, when I differentiating on both sides, differentiating on both sides, then left side is f dash of x. Because right side, what I told you? Substitute upper limit directly, no need to evaluate integration here. No need to apply UV rule. Don't apply anything. Just because we are differentiating. When we are differentiating, what will happen? I told you many times derivative integral get cancelled. So here, what shall we derivative integral cancel? Replace t by upper limit, that is x, sin x, and the dx. Dx means the derivative of x minus lower limit. Zero sin zero so, sir this is the original uh, function yeah this is the derivative of the function the original function this is the original function without the differentiating you cannot substitute upper limit minus no but sir you said um that's the integral and when we uh find the derivative of the integral the derivative and the integral cancel out so yes cancel when you cancel that just replace uh, t by the upper limit minus t by the lower limit that I have done here. So this is the derivative of the function f dash of x is equal to x sin x is the function. Derivative of x is 1, 0 into anything 0. So finally, this is the required answer. x sin x, second option. So only the thing is, integrand in, in one variable, the limits in other variable, you can apply the Leibniz zero like when they ask the derivative alone. Otherwise, you know, if, if you want to this value integral zero to x t sine t, you know, what shall we do? If you want to evaluate this value, u v rule, you can apply. This is u, this is v, but they are asking the derivative of f of x. Then this is called a Leibniz zero. Students, next uh, some properties, properties of definite integration. These properties can play very important role to solve every mostly of objective questions. Most of the objective questions. The formulas I am going to tell you what the properties very important. So one minute we scroll up, sir. Thank you, sir. So 90% like in 
definite integration 80 to 90 percent of the problems based on the properties objective questions what is the first property first property is that integral a to b f of x b also clearly equal to integral a to b f of t dt this is also can be written as a to b limit i'm not changing the limits i'm changing just variable but all values are equal f of y dy right so this is the first property got it first property coming to second property what is the second property integral a to b f of x dx when i interchange the limits like b to a f of x dx when i interchange the limits you can take the minus negative sign Okay, integral a to b, I have written integral b to a by taking minus b. Third one, integral a to b, f of x dx. I want to divide the given interval. Like uh, this is nothing but uh, the integral value from a to b. But this interval I want to divide it into two sub intervals. a to c, c to b. a to c, c to b. Nothing but here also a to c, f of x dx plus c to b f of x dx will give the same value students this will give the same value okay remember that got it what i say so we may write like you know you can divide it into three sub intervals i have taken two sub intervals you, you may take three sub intervals you may take four sub intervals okay that's your risk this depending on the problems we take, right next uh, uh, Next property is that integral a to b f of x dx can be written as a to b f of x dx can be written as like integral same a to b f of a plus b minus x into dx. This is most important property in definite integration very very important property okay property one property two i give me take this is p1 this is p2 this is p3 then this is about the p4 so what i have done here just i'm replacing in place of x here the sum of these uh, uh, limits uh, minus x a plus b minus x a plus b Minus. Got it. Next one is P5. Property 5. So what is the fifth property? Fifth property is that integral 0 to A. P5 come from P4. So what about this? C students here. Same. Sum of the limits. 0 plus A. A. Here A plus B minus X. Yeah, 0 plus a minus x that is nothing but integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx got it this is p5 and p6 p6 is sixth property is that for example both the limits are same like a to a f of x dx upper limit lower limit will be same what is the required answer zero both limits are same the answer becomes zero got it and next seventh property see students if you are not remember these properties uh, uh, you won't get the answer for any JE equation right if I take here uh, like uh, minus a to plus a f of x b what do you observe here upper limit lower limit will be same but opposite sign here minus to plus or plus to minus okay whatever it is minus a to a or plus a to a whatever it is in that time and we are going to get 0 to a f of x dx two cases will be there actually what are the two cases here this is first case when f of x is even function when f of x is odd function the given function is odd function the answer becomes 0 minus a to a 
f of x. If f of x is even, we can write two times of zero to a. This lower limit I make them to zero. So it's two times of zero to a f of x dx, right? When f of x is even. Then when f of x is odd, then the integral minus a to a f of x dx becomes zero. This is also one of the important property because you know, um, like in few questions, they have given very difficult function. Uh, like uh, limits are same. For example, I want to find minus 90 to 90 sine power 99x plus x power 7 minus cube tan x like that. Okay. Tan x like that. So what do you observe strings here? What about this integral value into dx? Answer. Sine is odd function, sine for 99 also odd function. First, you have to observe the limits, same limits and opposite sign. Got it? Same limits, opposite sign. X for 7 also odd function, x cube also odd function, tan x also odd function. So you are given all functions are odd function and limits also same limits, opposite sign. The answer directly can write 0. Got it? When the limits are same and opposite sign, just you have to check whether the given function is even or odd. Got it? Here all the functions are odd. The answer is zero. Just I have given some example for this. Uh, okay. Uh, property is... See students, you may or may not be understand if I write all the properties at, uh, at a time. Okay. Nothing to worry. Uh, while doing the problem also, once again I will explain the property. Property 8 also will be there. Property 9 also will be there. The property 8 in the sense what? Uh, like uh, integral 0 to 2a. f of x dx can be written as integral 0 to a f of x dx plus same integral 0 to a f of 2a minus x into dx. In case here, the function both will be equal. Like uh, f of uh, x is equal to f of 2a minus x then the given property 8 becomes property 9. What is property 9? Integral 0 to 2a, f of x dx can be written as 2 times of integral 0 to a, f of x dx. Because both will become equal means when we are adding these two, 2 times of 0 to a, f of x dx will get. So these are the properties I uh, have written screens here. Uh, if any other properties, I can explain you here. Already they have given the properties. You get it. all properties they have given. Whatever the properties I have written. See, when I change the variable, the integral value can cannot be changed. When I interchange the limits, minus will come. A to B can be written as A to C, C to B. And this is the third property, fourth property, very important. B I A. And this is 0 to a, uh, we can write like this. So almost uh, I have written all the properties. Okay, when even function, I have written this. Odd function, I have written 0. The proof of the properties are not required here. All proofs will be there, not required. Two years back, they may ask the proof, but uh, this year, Proof is not required, so we'll go for directly for the problem. Yeah, all problem other than uh, two, three problem. This is uh, quite lengthy, I think so. Few questions are there, quite lengthy here. Am I audible, strings? Yes. Yeah, fine. Yes, Coming to the question number, here all the questions, see, I'm going to tell you the answer. The first one is pi by 4, the second one also pi by 4 answer, third one also pi by 4, and fourth one also pi by 4. How can you say that this is pi by 4? Very easy question, right? See here, for example, first one I want, second one I want to do it. With help of the properties, generally, in general, it is very difficult to do this problem. But when you apply the properties, 
it will becomes very easy most of the problems we can say the answer directly it's not a difficult very easy like uh, for example i'm doing the first one first one is it is uh, the last exercise and after this we are having miscellaneous i think so the first one is same you can take as i i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square x into dx cos square x dx let us take this is equation one there is a property i told you very clearly how to remember two properties that's very very important i told you what are the properties i told you very very important here yeah these two properties yeah students these two properties many of the questions like uh, p5 property five, integral 0 to a can be written as k minus a, re plus x by a minus x okay when lower limit is zero upper limit minus x by a minus x a minus x the same at the same property i'm going to apply in this question here the first one since we are having a property that is integral 0 to a f of x dx can be written as integral same 0 to a only but replace x by a minus x dx right students i is clearly equal to when i apply the property 0 to pi by 2 as it is but cos square pi by 2 minus x a minus k what is a value when i comparing here a value is pi by 2 into dx what is cos 90 minus theta anyone anyone cos 90 minus theta sin theta so cos square 90 minus x becomes sin square let us take this is true after applying the property this property in the second question third question fourth question also you can add 1 and 2 1 plus 2 adding 1 and 2 left side left side is i plus i right side right side what are the common values students here integral is common here the common value common yeah common symbols are integral integral 0 to and dx dx you can take this to our common when i take integral 0 to pi by 2 is common 0 to pi by 2 is common from the first equation cos square x from the second equation sin square x and dx also common for both i plus i to i integral 0 to pi by 2 what about cos square plus sin square what is integral 1 x what is from where to where 0 to pi by 2 now substitute 2 i is equal to upper limit minus lower limit substitute in place of x pi by 2 minus j so then i is equal to pi by 4 yeah that is the reason i have written directly answer pi by 4 pi by 4 pi by 4 so like uh, see uh, how can we say that it is pi by 4 see simple here 90 is there sin 90 minus x cos x cos 90 minus x sin x so what is the question we'll do second one second one you can do third one i'll do second one third one both will be same In second one, root sine x means sine to the power of one by two. Here, yeah, sine to the power of three by two. They have given. First property alone here. Sorry, the uh, third property, fourth property alone you have to remember. Again, third question also like uh, here. Yeah. I is equal to integral zero to pi by two. And the sine to the power of three by two by sine to the power of three by two plus cos to the power of three by two into dx. Fine. Let us take this is equation one, students. Okay, here x here x. Now i is equal to since we know that the same property I am going to write here. Like uh, 
the property is that integral 0 to a f of x to the x can be written as integral 0 to a f of a minus x to the x. Okay, ma. So I is equal to apply the property same zero to pi by two sine cube. What is what we have to replace pi by two minus x by sine cube pi by two minus x plus cos cube pi by two minus x into dx. Anyone can say that what is the sine cube, sine 90 minus x. Shall I write cos cube? Cos cube plus whatever this sine cube again. Shall I write cos cube? What is cos 90 minus x? Shall I write sine cube into dx? This is about i. Okay, ma? This, uh, let us take this is equation 2. So, what I have to do now? Sorry, it is 3 by 2. Power whatever it is. <laughs> right, adding equation 1 and 2. Same 1 and 2. Apply the property 3 and uh, after that adding left side is i plus i. Right side is integral 0 to pi by 2 is common. And uh, dx also common. Numerator is what? Numerator. And also here common is denominator also same for the both the values. What is the denominator here? Sine 4, 3 by 2 plus cos 4, 3 by 2. What is the denominator here? Sine 4, 3 by 2 plus cos 4, 3 by 2. Got it? Denominator also same. Sine 4, 3 by 2 plus cos to the power of 3 by 2. Then what about the numerator? Sine to the power of 3 by 2 plus here. Got it? In all the question, it will be cancelled. Like uh, first four problems. Same 0 to pi by 2, 1 dx. 1 means x from way to where 0 to pi by 2. Apply the upper limit minus lower limit. This is pi by 2 minus 0. So i is equal to pi by 4. Once again, I use the property. It is in the form of uh, it is in the form of 0 to a. A. Like sorry. Here. It is in the form of integral 0 to a f of x dx. So that is equal to integral of 0 to a f of a minus x. Okay, students. I apply this. Got the answer. Numerator, denominator get cancelled. Okay. Here also sign root sign 90 minus theta is root cos x will get. When you adding both, it, it will be cancelled. Here also cos 4 5 becomes sign 4 5. When you adding both the equation, get cancelled. Here also same pi by 2. Got it? You can do this remaining two students. Like four and second and four. Okay, for example, if I ask the question is sine to the power of uh, 100 by sine 400 plus cos 400 dx is equal to what is the answer? Pi by four. And uh, here, moreover, you have to remember that. Moreover, you have to remember that when the limits are zero to pi by two alone, this value becomes pi by four. When the limits are 0 to pi by, pi by 2, pi by 2. If any other limits like 0 to 60, 0 to 45, 0 to 30, we won't get, because you know, when you replace here, cos square, if I take pi by 3, what is cos square pi by 3 minus x? Is it equal to any sine square pi, sine square x? No. You understood my point, what I'm saying? When the limits are 0 to pi by 2 alone, it will get to pi by 4. Okay. 0 to pi by 4. Otherwise, it's not.
is it clear so coming to coming to this kind of questions modulus whenever we having modulus students uh, the last year what will happen what happened these are the tricky questions like uh, simple questions how many questions are there question number 5 6 as well as question number 18 Question number eighteen. Three questions are there. Three questions. First, we have to split. We have to split the given integral. What is the interval they have given you? Minus five to five. Here, what is the interval? Two to eight. And question number even here eighteen also. What are the limits? Zero to four. They have given. In all kind of questions, what should we do? Simple. I'm telling you here. Take any question, like for example, five. Here, sixth question, and here it is eighteenth question. Question number five is i is equal to integral from where to where minus five to five modulus from dx is there. Here also integral. Here also integral. Okay, fine. Uh, here it is uh, five is x plus two. X plus two. X plus five. From two to eight, dx, and zero uh, to four, zero to four, x minus one, two dx. Got it? This kind of question, what shall we do? The interval is minus five to five. Here interval two to eight. This is zero to four. Fine. See this kind of question. See students. It's a logic question, very easy question. Whatever the integrand they have given, your x plus two. First, you have to write x plus two is equal to zero, which implies what is x value? Ma? X value. X value. Yes, Vignesh. X plus two is equal to zero. Don't you? Sir, no one is responding. Minus two. Minus two. Yeah. Minus two. Huh? Here x plus five you can equate into zero. What is x value, ma? Minus two. Minus. Here, here also. Here x plus two. X minus one is equal to zero. What is x value? One. One. This is important. So here, you have to split the interval minus five to five. Okay, minus five to five. As minus five to where your x is equal to, we got minus two. When I equating x plus two is equal to zero, we got x is equal to minus two. So that we can split the interval minus five to minus two. Minus five to minus two. This is the negative value. Dx. I'll tell you why it is negative, why it is positive. So minus two to upper limit. Okay. Here also, for example, here. What is the x value we got? Even x plus five equating to zero. X is equal to we got minus five. Is there any minus five? Like two to eight is there. Two to eight is there. So there is no minus five. So there is no negative values. Here, integral zero to X is equal to one. We got x zero to one, and one to four. Five. Why I am taking here? It is a negative. I I, I want to take here x plus two is positive to the x. Why we want to take here negative? Why we should take here positive? Why can't we take here positive? Why can't we take negative here? The reason is the reason is uh, here. Okay, in minus five to minus two. Minus five to minus two. You can take any value, any value. Is it positive between? Okay, between that values you can take any value. Is it for this value is positive? What about x? Don't just leave it that the modulus. Just x plus two alone you can consider. Here. X plus two. When I take minus five to minus two, minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two. Like that till minus two. If you take substitute minus four, 
it is negative minus 3 negative minus 4.9 negative minus 2.1 negative so that minus 5 to minus 2 between that interval it, that x plus 2 becomes negative like uh, minus 2 minus 1 like that so minus but when you take 2 to 5 2 to 5 what about x plus 2 value from 2 to 5 take any value like 3 4 4.1 and 2.1 onwards is that positive or negative Yes, I'm positive. positive. So that here I'm taking the interval is positive. But when you come to your 2 to 8, 2 to 8 is there. When 2 to 8, if you substitute any value from 2 to 8, is there we are getting any negative value? Yes, any negative value? No, we are not getting any negative value. 2 plus 5, positive. So, like, uh, so I want to take your like uh, 2 to 5 directly plus x plus 5 right? here we don't want to split we don't want to split the interval minus 2 minus 5 how it is possible no possible because okay minus 5 to minus 2 minus 2 to 5 then finally minus 5 to plus 5 will get the interval minus 5 to plus 5 but you are not required in case in case if i give like uh, instead of 2 for example this question of the set instead of 2 if they may give like a minus 10. That time you have to write the interval minus 10 to minus 5, minus 5 to 8, 8 like that which are But it is not necessary that already, already a, a plus value is only. You can take from 2 to 8, it always positive. So you can take only one value, right? Next, coming to the next value. Uh, yeah, yes, twins. Coming to your, see here, 0 to 1, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, substitute any value, it will be negative. It will become negative here. Negative. But uh, when you take 1 to 5, it is x minus 1 becomes positive, substitute 2, 2 minus 1 positive, 3, 3 minus 1 positive. Like that, first you have to split, then after you have to find the integral. Okay, for example, this question is there. I split into minus 5 to minus 2 and minus 2 to 5. Now, this minus I want to take outside. What is the x integral? x squared by 2. What is the 2 integral? 2x. From where to where? Minus 5 to 2. Minus 2. And uh, plus, same here, x becomes x squared by 2, 2 becomes 2x. That integral of the integrand is cannot be changed. Here, x squared by 2. 2, 2x here x squared by 2x but the limits alone will be changed minus 2 to 5 here same here also limits alone different minus i am taking outside x becomes x squared by 2 minus x from where to where 0 to 1 plus same here x squared by 2 minus x but limits alone change 1 to 5 that's all so this this substitute upper limit uh, minus lower limit will get the answer see students Having any doubt? Having any doubts here? How to split? For example, I'm giving the interval uh, minus 3 to uh, 10, I have given modulus x plus 1. x plus 1, dx I have given. Can anyone tell that how to split this value from where to where? See, th these are the fixer. Okay, this is fixed. Minus 3 to minus 1, minus 1 to 10. Minus 3 to minus 1, very good, minus 1 to 10. Is here positive or negative here? Negative. Because my uh, substitute minus 3, minus 2, like that it is negative. But uh, more than minus 1, it is positive. Like what? Like 0 0.9 onwards. Minus 0 0.9 onwards. Splitting. Like for example, if I give like a 2 to uh, 8, but modulus x minus 3 is there. Dx. What about here? Here, starting limits, ending limit is same. Sorry, 8. And what about this limit? Splitting into 2 to 3. 3. 3 to 8. Here it is negative. Here it is positive. 
got it this is the shortcut method to split like you have to equate this x minus 3 to 0 you are going to get x value at that point you have to do it. okay this three problems you can do students i already explain you all the three problems just here directly x squared by 2 plus 5x from 2 to 8 here don't want to split because for every value it is positive alone we are not getting any negative value Okay, fine. Uh, this is this question and question number 18. You can do it. And uh, yeah, my question is what is the answer for this question? Anyone? Answer. Zero. Answer. Answer is? Zero. Zero. Because sine 47 is the odd function and limits are same. Zero. Uh, what is the answer for this? Yes. Zero. Okay, sine x is odd function. Minus two cos. Yeah, x is odd function. Exactly. So here, first we have to write two times of integral zero to pi by two sine square x because sine square x is even function with help of the property minus a to a f of x dx. So what we have written? 2 times of 0 to a f of x dx when f of x is even. Sin is odd, okay, but sin square is even. Sin is odd, sin square is even. This you can write. Already this problem we have done. Like instead of sin square, cos square we have done. See question number 1. Question number 1. Question number 11. Everything will be same. Here also again, now you can apply the property 0 to a f of x dx. As it is, Amma, as it is. And here, here 0 to pi by 2 cos square is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin square is equal to pi by 4 only answer. Integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square already we done. The answer we got pi by 4. Even that is equal to integral 0 to pi by 4. Sin square also same. So what is the answer here? We are going to get 2 times of pi by 4 means the answer is pi by 2 for this question. Then what about 0 to uh, 2 pi? 0 to 2 pi, okay, this question will do. And 17th question, again, we are going to get, like the answer is a by 2. Because, you know, when you apply the limit, same property, 0 to a f of x dx. Third property we are applying in how many questions? I told you this is important property. I'll stop within one minute, students. Just property, property 5. I told you this property is very important. This property 5, we applied in how many problems? Let's see here. In first problem, I applied the property uh, like uh, first one, I applied the fifth property, second one, third one, fourth one. Okay, fourth one. Yeah, even uh, question number eight one, so you can apply the same property. Uh, here also you can apply the same property. The same property alone. Here also you can apply the same property. 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 That's the reason that property is very important. Okay, here, okay, negative sign, sign. Uh, x cube is odd function. Yeah, cos x is even, but x is odd. Odd into even always odd. Remember once again, cos x is even function. But x is odd function. Odd into even is odd. Tan power 5 is odd function. 1 is odd function. Answer. Is 1 is odd function? No. Sorry. 1 is not a odd function. x is a odd function. So x cube is odd function. Answer 0. This is odd function 0. Tan power 5 odd function 0. But at last we are having only the value uh, minus 92 plus 90, 1 dx alone. So 1 is x, x is nothing but a minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Apply the upper limit, pi by 2, minus of minus lower limit, pi by 2. That is pi by 2 plus pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, that is the answer is pi. Once again, I told you one of the property when limits are same, 
upper limit lower limit is same and the function is r function i told you to write the uh, r directly zero this is zero this is zero only remaining one other just we have to evaluate integral of one dx that's all that's all simple clear students try try you can try yourself or whatever the problem i told you with the help of the, the property what is the property integral 0 to a f of x to a okay i'll explain you so here also 1 by 1 minus x is equal to you can take as t substitution method right yes, sir we do by only sir where sir sir question this here sir sir because uh, two integral of a to zero of x why two integral ah okay when you want to write that's a good question whenever you want to write two two times means lower limit you should take as zero zero to ninety what is the property minus a to a f of x can be written as two times of zero to a but what I have taken here minus ninety I did not take ninety. Uh, you can do like this also. Now in that case also, dx is equal to two times of x from zero to ninety. Two times of uh, pi by two minus zero. What is the answer? Pi. Pi. That's all. Okay, students. I think hardly it will take one or two classes. Tomorrow evening I am going to take special class. Okay, we'll start the OBT part. Because we need to complete uh, applications of integral also. We need to complete the OBT part of this definite integral. And uh, students, anyone, please, can you send me the uh, scanned copy? Definite integral. Otherwise, uh, I'll see once. Because I am at uh, my hometown, so yeah, I'm planning to come. Uh, if possible, you can scan and send to. 